Hi, I have to apologize. I am so late on this getting this last this group of wigs out. Um, I running the shop and trying to video at the same time sometimes is a challenge, but here I am finally. This is the um, 2023 spring collection from Gabor, and it's their regular line of synthetic wigs. So these are not heat friendly. But I wanted to show you three new styles today, and they're they're super cute. And I wanted to show you a variety of colors, so I think that you may find something that you like here. So I just want I'll share with you. If you've watched before, you already know this, but I have a larger head. Oh, I might tell you who I am. I'm Diane from Red Poppy Wigs Rug Boutique in the Kansas City metro area, and I've been working with wigs for 15 years. And let's see, this year it's been 44 years since I graduated from beauty school. So I've been doing hair for a long time, playing with wigs even longer than that. I did my grandma's wigs when I was little, when I was eight, and um, my teacher's wigs when I was in fifth grade. So, which is so super creepy, but it is what it is. So, um, so here we are, and I we'll get started with these so this is the gabor um, these are the flex light like i said tr traditional synthetic wigs not heat friendly the first style i'm going to show you and again i haven't even taken them out of the box so i don't have a clue how they fit i do have a larger head I will be trying these on to show to see how they fit for you and if they have a nice amount of stretch for um, the Royal Tees is the first wig, and this is in the GL1012, which is Sunlit Chestnut, so it's a light brown. This particular style has just, I'm going to get unboxed here, has the little moon, half moon lace along the front. So you, it's going to have some more fullness on the top because it has a cap. A lot of people, it's really tough for them after losing hair for a long time to come in and wear wigs because it seems like so much hair. And of course, there has to be a lot there compared to what they had because you do have a cap in the way. And sometimes like this one has a little bit of permatease, not a ton, but does have some permatease and the fibers there. Now this one has some curl to it and looks super cute so let's give it a try i think it's got a little bit of an extended nape with the velcro adjusters okay that's that's a good sign when i put it on and i anchor it down by my eyebrows and i can pull it over pull it down to my nape so let me get it centered So good color. I do have a lot of people that wear this color and I like that it's shorter on the face. Um, most wigs are going to are kind of long. So this one may need some product on it just to get it to do what I want it to do. Sometimes I do have to take it in the back room and or in the other room and steam it a little bit to get it to work because it's been sitting in the box and so it's kind of pinging out but that's not a big deal this one in the photos sort of reminded me of um oh like a shorter carte blanche or um maybe a shorter voltage and i think that is probably still the case um, yeah, I think if we got that off the face, pulled this down a little bit, it's got a quite a bit of curl in it, um, which is good. A lot of women want some curl, and then I'll kick you otherwise. So good color. Um, the chestnut color is great, and I'll show you the sides. It's got the short, almost cut around the ear. Lots of layering, and again, the kicky back. 
which is fun. Uh, some people like to use product on the back. I will too. Um, if you want more volume, a lot of times I'll hold it upside down and spray it with aerosol hairspray and let it dry. And then I'll go back in with, a, with the pump spray that holds a little firmer to get that, to make it bigger that, there. So you're not going to get a lot of flatness out of this one. I mean, you can flatten it a little bit, but it is just a traditional cap which keeps the price reasonable but it does look like more hair um i don't think it's you know like a terrible amount of hair i mean some some of them for for my clientele seem like they are this this seems very reasonable i mean if you curled your hair you get some height so i think this is a good choice for a lot of women and i think it's a, a really cute hairstyle Oh, and there's my earring, which I do that at least every other video. Let's yank my earrings out. Okay, so that's the first one. Royal Tees in the GL 1012, which is the Sunlit Chestnut. Okie dokie. So, adjusting my, which to me is like a godsend, my velvet headbands. I wear, I have, I carry several different brands. They run a little different in size, but if you're not familiar with a velvet headband, they, and I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages. Let me turn this noise off. I, uh, they, velvet is rough one direction and smooth the other direction. So what you want to do is put it on so it's rough. And because I have a larger head, wigs tend to creep and slippery hair, the wigs tend to creep off. So this helps keep them where they're supposed to be. So like I said, I carry several different brands because the different brands run differently. Okay, this one is less Labata, Labata. And this particular one is in the, 50, the GL5156, which is Sugared Pewter. So, which is a really, really pretty silvery gray color. It's a shorter style, and it also has, oh, it's just a traditional wefted cap. So, which has a, is a great place if people are not just stuck on too mu the too much hair thing this is a great place to start because they're dark they can be darling wigs and yet they're not super expensive so it it's sort of a great place to just kind of cut your teeth in wearing wigs so let's see what i'm doing here get this on straight um Again, there's no lace in this one. She's also got some box craziness going on that would need to be steamed a little bit. This is, you know, this is one of those challenges with just purchasing a wig over the internet and you take it out of the box and you don't always know what you're, what you're going to get into because they do get box set. Um, just lying in one direction for a long time. This is super, this is a super cute style though. I mean, it just needs a little bit of work right here to get it to do what it's supposed to do. It a little bit reminds me of Cinch in the Raquel line. Um, it's maybe a little shorter, but well, I don't know. It's on me. Everything's sh short. So, but. Really cute. It already has a little bit of a bang going on, so probably would cut that in a little bit more. And like I said, I would st straighten that out a little bit more so it lays down better. So, nice cropped up back. So are the tags sticking out. Lots of layering. But for those who like a little bit of asymmetrical, but don't want to be, you know, too far out there, this is this is very, 
very cute style. You know, I've also been known to cut that to match too. So if um, you have, you know, you want to try a wig and you need it customized, that's something that you want to get with somebody who is a licensed cosmetologist to be able to do that for you. But cute style, cute, great color. And let's go with the third one, which is Mod About You. And I, today, this, this one I've got in an, a GL 1823, which is Toasted Pecan. So it's a this is a great color for people who have had lighter brown hair and like to do traditional highlights. This particular style is got the left hand side hand tied part and lace front. It's a little bit longer. Oh, I lost myself. So I'm going to get this, shake this out a bit. Kind of get it. When they sit in the box and they take crazy shapes sometimes, you got to do that. I mean, I do it anyway, but. Um, then oftentimes I typically I've been doing hair so long I don't use tools very seldom do I use tools but I usually use my hands but that said when they have the uh, zigzag part I use my wire brush to take that out um, alrighty so let's see we've got again the side part See how, oh, that's got, that's got a nice amount of stretch to it. And it's a good length. Let's see. That's pretty color too. I don't, I don't think I have anything in this color. It, under these lights, it almost looks a little silvery. I'd be curious to go out in the daylight to see. I try to do natural light on my ring light, but I don't know how that is. Every light shows different, but that's a super cute, super cute style. It's gonna wear, even though it's a little bit longer back here, it's gonna wear a little bit better than your heat defiant styles, which apparently this, earring does not want to stay on today um, just because they don't wear as well when they where they touch your skin but this is way cute I I say that a lot um, very cute Honestly, didn't know what to expect from the photos, so I'm I'm really pleased. Again, this these are not heat friendly. This is a traditional synthetic, and um, this is in if I remember correctly the the Gabor luxury line. So it's not their traditional colors. There, it's the they uh, they're blended they're they've got a a real pretty um pretty equal blend to these colors as you can see where this one the 1824 is that what what i said it was oh 1823 those colors aren't terribly far apart on the color color chart so this one's really cute but um, thank you for staying and watching because I went a little long. But I, I really appreciate your watching, your comments, your feedback. I, you know, I do this as a labor of love. I don't get paid for any of this. I make money by selling wigs out of the shop. So I do appreciate your kind words and your, your interest. I'm always here to help you if there's anything that I can do, questions I can answer, my contact information's down below, as well as more information about the wigs and the size of my head so you can kind of gauge. 
I, I do always recommend that you seek out the help of a professional cosmetologist and wig fitter who can help you customize your wig and make sure you're getting the right thing. Buying wigs off the internet just cold is really, really difficult. I mean, even I have bought thousands, of, tens of thousands, maybe not tens of thousands, but ten, over 10,000 wigs. And they're not there you don't know what you're going to get until you put them on and that's true with every single company it's like buying jeans so you just really have to try them on to be able to know what you're getting so i i really do suggest you work with somebody let, they, let them take the hit at the beginning try th some things on and see what works for you and then they can help you and customize for you but i'm just a local small business and that I'm located in the Kansas City metro area, and I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe, share, and like the video, and maybe eventually I'll make some money off videos. But thank you so much again, and if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know, and I'll try to get it done. Have a great day.